our viewers here we have an Onwa TV. There's actually a Samsung tube in it uh, with all the warnings about X-ray and etc. Trying to get hold of the fuse is not easy, it's uh, in between the blue, orange and uh, red wire. I did a small modification, so I put some uh, tail lights. This TV uh, suffers the usual snowstorm and badly tuning, so I'll give it a shot, see if it works on the water. Hi viewers, today um, I'm, I'm going to drop this TV in a bath, in a tub under water. This is of course an extremely dangerous experiment, I have not seen it uh, happen on YouTube before, so uh, just watch the video and don't copy this particular event. Um, I got high voltage gloves, safety boots on, I'm standing on a rubber mat and also I got the bath first, and I'll show you. The bath has been earthy for safety to minimize or eliminate any step potential. The earth is connected to the mains, the plug-in device. The load on the meter itself is about 40 or 50 watts per meter. It's hardly moving. That's about the load on the meter. So now I'm going to set up and we'll uh, drop this meter. Uh, correction, uh, we drop this TV into the water. Here we go, folks. That was disappointing, it didn't even pop. It's drawing a bit more current, looking at the meter, it sits at about 8 amps. I leave the camera zoomed out. Well, something is definitely going faulty, whether it's face to neutral or something else. 8 ampere still being drawn into the TV. Disappointing, but in the name of science, we need to try these experiments out sometimes. No fireworks. Thanks for watching anyway. Yeah, about 8 ampere going in there. So it'll be acting like a heater, heat up the bath. Current drop. Yeah, the current drops, so it's obviously water going from the inside to the earth. Oops. Smoke test. Oh, we get a bit of smoke. And luckily, the camera is rolling. I think that's all. Well, 
Was the old TV? The current has just stopped. It's creeping slowly. Still smoking a tiny bit. Uh, it's proven really, TVs don't like water. Quick look inside the TV doesn't reveal that much. Um, I was expecting some popped capacitors or something, but uh, they all look pretty well intact. And my guess is that uh, HD supplies pop somewhere. The speaker must have had some good DC through there, the hell cone is blown out by the look of it. So. Not to worry, it was fun anyway. Thanks for watching.